Hello, friends. Hello, it's good to see you guys here today. Let me get my mic hooked up. How's everybody today? Hello, Shannon. How's it going today? Good to see you. See you. We to be doing some basic, basic stuff today. Basic, basic stuff using Debbie's DIY clay base chalk paint and an outdoor bench. Um, we actually had two benches in the basement. And uh, JR took both of them this week, this past week. He fixed up what he needed to fix up. I'll be showing you what he did. And um, so we're gonna paint them and make, make, well, we're gonna paint this one and make it really pretty. So Megan is on her way. I did start, yes. I got it going. So uh, hello, Amy, it's good to see you here. Hi, Shannon, it's a very cool bench isn't it we bought this um last year actually we went picking with um at um a friend's place and this was sitting out in the yard and i fell in love with it even though <laughs> the uh this piece on the bottom was rotted out the 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 base of it was rotted out and but I loved the lines of it. I loved this on the end. I just thought it was really cool. Just I kind of I, have oh. <laughs> Megan's here today. And so what JR did is he removed all the rotting parts, and you can see here that he added um, he added some to the base, right? And he did this as pressure treated so that it wouldn't rot if it was sitting outside. And then he replaced that center brace with a brand new two by four. Um, and yeah, that's what we've got. So we're going to paint it today with Debbie's DIY. And uh, I'm excited because I love using this chalk paint. And I love that it can be used in so many different ways. If you use Debbie's DIY, you know that. You can water this stuff down like up to 90% and the pigments remain just as vibrant. That means I could use this as a stain, like watered down as a stain on the wood here and it would maintain its vibrant pigments. Or I can use it straight up as paint. Um, I can let it thicken up and create extra texture. There's so much that you can do with this. So today we're just gonna straight up paint this bench. Um, it'll probably take a couple of coats, and I thought it would be fun to try to come close to this same color that was on there. This is Farm Fresh. I don't know. It might be a mix. This may be a little more mix of Apothecary Farm French. I might be able to add something to this to lighten it up. I really love this, and so maybe, maybe I'll grab um, a little bit of white paint and see... If we can mix something with that. You got some? Oh, I bet I have something down here. I bet I do. Look, I have apothecary. How about if I mix a little apothecary with it? And see, let's see what happens. Let me grab my beautiful china plate. Or my pressed glass plate. <laughs> and see what will happen. How's everybody doing today? It's rainy where Mary Jo is Hi, in Kansas. Jo. So we have some folks watching. Yeah. Wonderful. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Um, I'm going to see if we can mix. I'm just going to see what happens. Like I said, this is Farm Fresh and I have some Apothecary. Let's try mixing and see if we can come up with Something a little bit lighter and closer to the color of this bench, the original color. So I'm just going to scoop out, yeah, I don't know. I've got one, two scoops. I'm doing a very, very rough measurement today. <laughs> and 
let's squirt in you know what with these bottles they clog up on the ends and your face is going to shoot like, out oh no where is it going to go it's going to shoot out everywhere <laughs> Lindsay said she thinks Apothecary would be an exact match. It could be really close. Apothecary has a little more green in it. So I just thought, well, let's do a little color mixing and see what we come up with. Why not? 101 in California where Stephanie is. Oh my gosh, it's Stephanie. It's very pleasant here. It really has been. I'll tell you what, though. Out at the lake, it's been about 10 degrees cooler. Mm hmm but sunny, sunny, yeah, pleasant. Okay, I'm just mixing this, and by golly, I like it. I like it. Now, I'm not too super fussy that I've mixed enough to completely cover. I I can I'm gonna I'm gonna do a second coat over this, so I will always make sure. And that's even a little bit grayer. Hmm. Do we need to add a little bit of gray to it? I mean, are you not going to paint over it? Oh, I am going to paint over it, but I really love this color. It's so funny. Now that I've mixed up this blue, this looks more gray. I mean, it's in the shadows. It is in the shadows. Maybe take the paint down there near one. I mean, I don't want to, like, match it completely. Actually, I like mine better now. I think it's just pretty. Yeah. Okay? So I've just mixed up enough to even get, like, a first base coat on this. And my second one, I'll make sure that I mix more than enough to do a second coat. All right, let's do it. So this is half and half about uh, Farm Fresh and Apothecary. Carol asks, can the DIY paint be used on exterior surfaces? Absolutely, it can. It dries to a very hard finish. Very, very hard finish. But you finish. have to seal it, of course. Of course, yeah. Although Debbie would tell you, like, she has painted things outdoors and left them, like, for years. But how is In the possible? California, hot California sun. And well, it, it literally like... bakes onto there, like adobe. But if it got wet, wouldn't it run? I would think. Yeah. I guess but she lives in a very dry nice. and, and um, hot climate. But yes, you would put a base coat, or you would put a top coat over this. And it just depends on what your, what your climate is, where you are. And it changes color when you don't seal it. Exactly. So, I would want so to it's going to lighten up. When you're, doing hey, an, Linda. when you're doing a piece for exterior use, you guys, it's always important to remember that paint will um, absorb moisture from any uh, surface that is not sealed. So that means if you're painting a piece like this, I'm going to be flipping this over. I want to make sure that I get every single side of this, that it's all sealed. What can happen is it can, if you leave, say for example, this here and you've all seen it on picnic tables in your own yards right you paint the top of them make them look pretty and like like six months later the paint's peeling off that's because if you don't seal the bottom with a sealer or with paint moisture will come up through this wood and it will lift that paint from underneath what that about sits like on the for top. a deck because um, i just happened to be at miss shirley's yesterday and she had just painted her deck the previous year and it was already peeling and coming up. Decks are, uh, decks are, you want to use a deck paint. I mean, deck paints are I'm just formulated. you're not painting the bottom of it, right? Well, no, but, but probably a deck paint has a more penetrable um, quality to it. So it's almost think of like a deck paint slash stain that's going to. I wonder gonna, what she used. I yeah, I mean, and you also, and it's the same. I mean, I'm not an expert on deck painting. So, you know, by all means, make sure you ask when you're doing a project like that. But, um, but for example, okay, Leah, our, our friend Leah actually did um, a, she used the, um, what is it called? The Morocco stencil? Or no, Cub uh, Cubano stencil. And did her outdoor concrete patio. And she used Debbie's DIY. And actually, it has held up and held up and held up. She just put a an outdoor sealer over it. 
So do you have a suggestion for a good outdoor sealer, Shannon's asking, that's water resistant and has UV protection? That has UV protection? I don't. Um, you could use, I know JR uses, um, he uses like a spar varnish. You could use a marine varnish. You could use, which keep fingers crossed, JR, Jane's um, um, Rock Hard Top Coat, which is a... Um, that is an outdoor water resistant finish. But remember, um, you just always wanna check with the manufacturer. I, I'm not, I just am not an expert on that. My husband might know better, but, um, but the thing is, I don't know if it's UV protectant. Now I know, I can say this without a doubt, Fusion Mineral Paint is not going to fade in the sunlight. It or has yellow. A, or yellow, it's a, it's a, um, it has a built-in top coat and it, it is UV protectant other than one color, which was a limited edition color. But the tough coat is not UV protectant? Uh, whether it is or not, I, I, I'm not, it is water resistant though. The top coat. Yeah. I you mean, could, like, again, you could use it outside. Yeah, you could use it outside. Absolutely. I tend to choose Jim. something other than the top coat because it's formulated for furniture. So even though the paint, like we paint our outdoor furniture, we paint our outdoor, um, uh, our doors, right? Exterior doors. And I've never had an issue with that paint fading or, you know, any kind of a problem at all. Mm -hmm. I haven't even had to put a sealer over it is what I'm saying. Yeah. But with the Debbie's DIY, you definitely want to seal this for exterior use. Or interior use. Or interior, absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, Deborah, I'm not sure, did you post a picture of the finished horses, Mom? It was kind of in the background of the did. Video. I did not, not yet. Um, I'm not sure she's done with it. Yeah, it's, well, it's pretty much done. I worked on it um, a couple of days ago. I was off yesterday. I was out at the cottage. We're, we're finally, we did a lot of cleaning and a lot of rearranging out in the guest house so that I can have my, I'm going to try using one end of the guest cottage as a, um, as an art studio. Good. We'll see. We're going to see what happens. But then, if I really like it, and JR said this morning, he's like, oh, that's my fear. Like, that you're going to really like it out here, and then I know I'm going to have to insulate it, put heat out there. <laughs> he should do that anyway. Yeah. Uh, yes, Fusion, Fusion is indoor-outdoor. Mm -hmm. Jane says, I painted an old house column last year with DIY paint and never sealed it. Yesterday, I washed it all off and painted it with fusion, but I did not seal it. <laughs> yeah, right? That Because DIY can be reactivated with water. Now, that is a good thing. Um, that can be a positive and a negative. Um, if you don't seal it, it's going to reactivate with water. Yep. And so... Um, you'll be able to like literally wash it away yeah, even right. after it's been on there for months or as Jane in Jane's case how long she said last year last year yeah so that is the one positive about it um, or the one negative about it but that's also a positive because it, it's beautiful for blending paint I have such a wonderful open time and I love using this to blend paint I've used DIY on some of my like art pieces that I've done and I just I love it I love 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 it Leah says hello my friends Hi, I could Leah. have either spread mulch or watch you guess who won <laughs> Wasn't that nice? And for the the fusion painted runner that we were talking about of hers just a minute ago, it's on its fifth year. Is has it been that long? Have we been friends that long, Leah? Oh, we've been friends for longer than that. Wow, I just can't believe that that was five years ago. That I that we did that it. um that we did that private Facebook group with the floor cloth. Isn't that where you were inspired to do that, Leah? I thought she did it before that. Maybe she did, yeah. I don't know. We we have so many uh, irons in the fire, I, I can't keep track of everything. So I'm putting a pretty generous coat on this. 
Um, you can also thin this out and make it make it. She did it before that. Yeah, that make it uh, move a little bit um, easier by just putting a mist of water over it. That'll thin it out a little bit too, and probably I'll be able to get more out of my mm -hmm. paint that I poured <laughs> instead of just slapping it on full strength. <laughs> I was gonna say I thought you usually dilute it a little bit. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Or spray your brush or the surface. Uh huh. But when Jean, I'm oops, I'm so sorry. Go, no, ahead. You go ahead. When I'm painting, especially like on a chair, on a on something that has a lot of different components like this, I'm always going back and I'm running my brush over those places where I could potentially have a drip or a run. Um, you always want to be like moving back and forth back and forth on your on your piece to prevent that from happening. I also love mixing this with the um, making powders and creating different colors with this with the Debbie's DIY. I've done that a lot and that's always fun to do. Jane said in her case it was positive because she wanted to use that um, column for a wedding and Kate oh. was not cutting it. So she's there you so go. thankful she didn't There you it. go. And Amy said she painted her previous front door in Salty Kiss and loved it. Did oh, you really? Oh, how fun with it. Our next front door when we do it again, we'll have to use Debbie's DIY. Mm -hmm. That would be fun, wouldn't it? But, you know, I, I think one of the big questions that we get, like especially here in the store, when people come in and they're, they're looking for, um, they want to they wanna paint. And they see this beautiful wall of fusion, this beautiful wall of Debbie's DIY. And they ask, don't they, Megan? Well, which one is your favorite? Mm -hmm. <laughs> which paint? And which paint is your favorite? And I just say, I, I love them both for different reasons. I... I, uh, it's like your kids, you know, they have different personalities, they're, they're, but you love them the same. And that is how I feel about the paint brands that we carry. Kind of, sometimes it kind of just depends on what mood I'm in. But I love, I love, um, I mean, I will take a can of Debbie's DIY and you know how it gets thick around the edges? I'll even scrape that out and I'll use that for additional texture and, oh my goodness, I, I just love it. And I love that I can thin it down. I love that it gets fantastic drippage. I love that you can water it down and it does not impact the pigments. With Fusion, you cannot water it down past... Um, 10% because it can kind of affect the pigments and if you any of you have ever used a mineral based paint when you add water to it it disrupts the the um, it disrupts the recipe it disrupts the formulation and that amount of water will shift and change the concentration of those pigments that are they're mixed with a binder okay to to remain stable but you add water to it and it destabilizes it and that's why sometimes when you mix with water too much water with with fusion mineral paint you'll notice that it it gets streaky right those pigments are separating it do, that doesn't happen with Debbie's DIY I hope that made sense hi Lynn 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 um, with an E no no E. No E. Oh, this is beautiful. I'm not going to try to haul this thing around and move it upside down um, here on camera. Yeah. What? It's a good idea. Yeah, no, I won't be doing that. But it's really interesting to me how when I'm using Debbie's DIY, I think, oh my gosh, did I, do I have enough paint? Did I mix enough paint? Do I have enough paint out from this, for, from this jar to finish this project without opening another one? And doggone it, I can add a little water and somehow it always ends up being the right amount. So that's what I'm hoping for with this. Stephanie said she's currently refurbishing a solid wood suitcase. It's truly a labor of love with a rusted solid. candles and everything. Solid wood. That's fascinating. Oh, I almost 
went sliding. <laughs> you were blown away by that. That's pretty cool. I don't think this is going to get, that amount of paint's going to get you a whole first coat. Well, you know what, Megan? <laughs> you never know. You just never know. Let's see what, what I can make happen. Maybe on the base. Oh, do we not have Mr. Bottles in stock? I can tell you exactly when they'll be in stock in one minute. <laughs> yes, we have tons. I didn't realize they weren't on the I love Sorry. our Mr. Misters because they, they have a nice mist, but it stops. It doesn't go on and on and on where it's like, oh, you end up, you're spraying yourself. You're spraying, you know, the people around you. <laughs> it has just enough of a mist. Okay, just fix that for you, Deborah. We are there. Um, you guys, I, I'm trying to fix, trying to investigate a broken link on Facebook, but <gasps> what? A broken link? A broken link. Can you believe it? Can you believe it, girls? No. Um, yes, I'm actually going live in the decoupage Kings and Queens group tomorrow, mm. and I will be um, demonstrating a really cool project. If JR and I can work out the details tonight, we uh, I'm going to be doing a really cool project over there on that page. Something you haven't nice. seen before, but you can still, I know I sent the link to the event in the um, that is a mixture of apothecary and farm fresh. Yep, it's about half and half. Sorry, go ahead, Mom. Um, yeah, I create. We I, we created the event, and lo and behold, when I sent the link, the link is broken. So we gotta figure that out. Yeah, this is a really pretty color. Really pretty. But I still have a lot of paint even in my brush here. That man, I want to see, can I do it? Can I make it work? But why would you want to do that? What? Like why would you want to stretch it out? Wouldn't that mean your coats are kind of uneven? Not necessarily. No. For the first coat? No. Mm -hmm. No. This will definitely need a second coat. Now, when do I second coat my Debbie's DIY? I'm gonna let this dry completely overnight um, before I apply a second coat. Then when I do my second coat, I'm gonna mist it to make my paint slide a little easier and it will keep it from, I'll do a light mist, it'll keep it from lifting that lower layer because my brush will slide a little easier over the surface. You guys, I am so close to being done with this bottom part. And yeah, I'm probably not gonna have enough there to do the entire top. Sorry, I hated to be a Debbie Downer on that, but I know. And I certainly don't have enough to do like all the underneath parts. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Mary Jo said her link to the event tomorrow takes her to the Facebook page. Oh, it does? Yeah. It didn't say it was broken? She just, that's what she said. Oh, I just okay. <laughs> told you what she wow. said. Wow, okay. That's interesting because earlier it said it was broken. Who knows? Oh, Who knows? knows? Who knows? I'm using my uh, Paint Pixie Dusty. I love this big flat brush. Now, one thing I love, that brush. I love this brush too, and I like the little the little D. One thing you'll notice with the DIY chalk paint is as it dries. It is going to lighten up, but then when I add a finish over it or I wet it, if I put a wax over it, if I use a polycrylic, it's going to deepen back down to that original 
pigmented color. Mary Jo said it just shows the event hasn't started yet. Let me see. Oh, if okay. Is it just this that has no description of what it is that you sent? Yeah. Yep. Just says events isn't available right now. This link may be broken or the page may have been removed. That's Check to weird. See if the link you're trying to open is That's correct. weird. Yeah, that's strange. We'll fix it. If not, you know, I'll be at 5.30 Eastern Standard Time in the decoupage. <laughs> Queens and Kings Facebook page. So this first, like if I'm going over raw wood, it's going to soak right in there. And that's where it'll be almost like a stain. So I don't mind that on this on this top. But look at how much paint I'm still getting out of this brush, Megan. Mm -hmm. We have another concert tonight. Yes, concert season. It's concert season, recital season, all of that good stuff. Oh, this is pretty. This is really pretty. It really is. So you went out to Miss Shirley's. Did you go out to look at chickens? I just have never been to her oh. house. Her little farmette. Yes. <laughs> That's nice. Yes, it was nice. She really has less animals than I do. Yeah? Well, I mean, I don't have chickens anymore, but she just has her two cats. Mm-hmm. And Tink. Yes, but that doesn't, Tink doesn't even really count. <laughs> Why? What a terrible thing to say. No, it's not terrible. You just, it's like he's no uh, trouble at all. You would almost yes. not even know he's there. Her chicks are so adorable, Leah. Of course. Oh, my god. Some of them are teenagers, and they're still cute. They get to that kind of ugly stage, don't not they? Not ugly. Uh, they're cute. <laughs> and I, it's funny because they all ran. And then there was one very bold little chick that comes right out and is like, well, what is it? What are you in here for? <sighs> and she, and um, Shirley said she's always, that little chick has always been like that. Very bold, huh? Well, it's funny. Um, well, Jamie Ray, Jamie Ray from Jamie Ray Vintage, she had a little Instagram thing this morning or last night. I can't remember which, but she showed her chickens. And they were those, those really, those little bantams, but they're really like outrageously fluffy mm -hmm. ones. Oh my gosh. Silkies. I had silkies. Silkies. Yes. Silky yep. banties. They're great. Yep. Uh, black velvet will look like it does in the jar when it's sealed. Mm -hmm. All of the colors will look just the way they do in the jar when they're sealed. They, as they dry, they'll look lighter, but then they go right back to their original. Oh, this is pretty, but guess what? I gotta mix up some more paint. Where are you going, Patrice, from Thursday to Monday? <gasps> what? It is the Memorial Day weekend. It is. Also, well, we have a picnic at our house and we've helped, we helped JR to celebrate his birthday, which is his birthday, the 27th. Okay. I know it's a busy one weekend. It's him, then um, David's mom is the 30th, and Sally's is the 31st. Oh, gracious. So many birthdays. Yes. So little time. Oh. There we go. One... I'll save any leftover paint in a sealed jar and then I'll do a final, like my second coat will be a mix and I'll just use any paint that I've already mixed to come up with a color that's very similar. She has promised potato salad, Mary, so I didn't have to bag well, it's or always, anything. It always happens. But I just, without me bagging this time, which was a very special treat. I usually make potato salad to go with. I like to give you guys a hard time and say, no, mm. I don't know. Is it really? Do I have to? How many people? Blah, blah. Yeah, I know what you do. <laughs> <laughs> I've been there. Hi, White Raven Creatives. What's your name? This is our first live. Hey, good to have you here. Welcome. Oh, there'll be plenty of cake, Cheryl. Don't worry. I'll make the cake. We're making, we haven't had that in a long time. Our family favorite birthday cake. I have 
definitely made it for my kids, but I just, and I have made it for JR quite a few times. Do you guys want to come in a little closer? Would you prefer to see this up a little bit closer? You don't have to look at my mug. Can you just watch this and let me know? Sure. When it's good for you? Yeah, of course. Actually, you can see it pretty well, but yeah, we can definitely come in. Even just, if can you expand it? Like, you know, like this? That's what I just said. Oh, a little bit closer. Come a little bit closer, <laughs> a little bit closer now. <laughs> what is that, Fawn? How's that? Oh, that's good. That's good. Okay. A little bit softer now. A little bit softer now. <laughs> that's what I'm thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Leah, it's an old, um, I don't even know where it originally came from. It's a chocolate cake recipe that we've always, what, what is it from? Oh, it was from Cook's Illustrated. No, the, remember the magazine? What was that magazine? Taste of Home. Taste of Home. I don't know. It's just yep, one my mom always it made. It has yep. hot coffee and the, which most good chocolate cakes do, but it has a vanilla frosting. So good. Um, I also really do like the Beatty's chocolate cake that uh, the Barefoot Contessa makes. If you want to What is it called? Beatty's. Beatty? Yeah, and that's a good chocolate on chocolate cake, which Augie likes. Yeah. I like chocolate with vanilla or like white icing, and I love this icing. It's a really different kind of an icing. It's um, not too sweet. Right, but it's it's different, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's not a boiled icing. It's not a buttercream. It's no, very but it different. Is part of it's cooked. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. Yes, it is. Again, because this is raw wood here, I'm soaking it so that my brush moves a little bit easier along the top of this because that paint is going to soak right in. Maybe I'll have the boys get an ice cream cake from Lake Effect too, Ooh. just since Hattie can't have the regular cake. It's hot. I think the song was Shout that Mom was That's singing. exactly right. That's right. Yes, Leah, I'll send you that recipe. It's so good. No, she likes chocolate on chocolate, so I'll send her that. Oh, the babies? Yeah. 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 That would be JR's favorite. He would love chocolate on chocolate, but... He does. Oh, love, yes. He likes our family birthday cake. Patrice said the table is sweet. Chicks are all cute. Samara chickens are the smallest chicken in the world. <gasps> Look like they shrank a regular rooster to small, small. I know just what you're talking about. What? I had a lot of bantam chickens when I had chickens. Little bitties. And they made little bitty eggs. Those teeny tiny eggs. I do I like the I like the ones that have the Easter egg colors. Those oh I think we can get bantams that make those, but really? uh, those They're are so American. Americana and Arcanas okay. make the blue eggs. I listen to you knowing your chickens. Well, I when had chickens I know, for a long time. I know time. you did. I know you did. It's probably using a little more paint than I had expected just because it has so much open wood grain. Uh, that's a mixture of apothecary and farm fresh, half and half. And of course, we know we love using this too for inlays. Oh my gosh, the best. The best for applying inlays. Totally fixed up this bench and made it wonderful again. Mm -hmm. That would be cool with an inlay on it. You know, I was afraid somebody was going to ask, are you going to put an inlay on it? Well, it would look cool, like with a smaller print. The like, rose chintz or something yeah, like that. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I think I just want to keep it. It's, it's going to be more marketable if I leave it plain. I Actually, I was thinking, like, oh, it could, it could look cool with... 
like sections of Gregory's, mm -hmm. like just, you know, like just warranted seeds or the, yep. you know, just some strips of words on here could be really neat. Yes. Patrice is going to help a friend who's involved with the Elks. She has three tables of products, and I sit at one and answer questions. And I bet you're very good at that, Patrice. Oh. you know everything. She does know about everything. everything. Yes, she does. She sure does. I bet you draw people to her booths and sell a lot for her. Oh, so your friend is selling products at like a, a show, a craft fair, uh, something like that? She said she's involved with the Elks. Okay. But I don't know what that is. Elks is like a fraternal organization, like the Lions Club, the Masons, the, yeah. Okay. So I will show you then what I do on the insides of these. Okay, so I would say if I were approximating, I'd say this took for the first coat an eight ounce, eight ounces. Because I've got like half of my farm fresh left. I've got four ounces left. There. I bet you could do the whole thing with a pint. Oh, absolutely you could. Second coat, yeah, for sure. Do you want me to come back out again? In a second. I'll just finish getting the ends of this. No, well, they just can't see the ends. Oh, that's okay. What's there to see, really? I don't right? know. Right what now is they there are see? not seeing literally anything. So, <laughs> that's why I asked. Okay. <laughs> Let me, uh, I'm going to quickly, while you're doing that, get the back side of this. Two by four. But how fun that you can mix these colors, do custom colors. You do whatever you doggone well feel like. But I do love that this really soaks down in and penetrates into that wood. Yeah. All right. How do you get down inside here? I just take a scrubby old chip brush. It is a heavy table. It's heavy, yeah. So this could be, I mean, honestly, you could use this as a coffee table almost or an outdoor bench. You can use it for so much. I just have a one inch chip brush and I'm literally scrubbing down in between these to make sure that all that is coated. I don't want to use a good brush to like scrub down in here. And Shannon, you don't eat the cute ones, so you don't have to be vegetarian. Just eat the ugly ones. What's that? Chickens. Oh. <laughs> I didn't get chickens that we ate. <laughs> but there you go. This is going to be pretty. I'm sure you probably cannot see at this point how it changes color because it's really not drying just yet. It is in some spots, but it might be hard. Yeah. To tell. Yeah. Like right in there, it is. It's gonna dry faster where there's raw wood, but it's gonna, you know, it's gonna take a little bit of time to get inside of all of these open spaces. I see the title of this says an outdoor bench in Debbie's DIY. Debbie's without an apostrophe. Okay. Bad it. So we'll have to edit that. Bad X? Yeah. And we've got a mix of capital letters and lowercase letters. You can tell that I didn't set this up. Thanks a lot, crazy. Megan. Well, I want them to know that we know. That yes. We don't think that's the right way to Yes, spell. I will <laughs> edit it as soon as I get off of here. You know what? My phone has really been like oh, that. Oh, yes. Seriously, that autocorrect? Her phone just comes in here and makes words that don't exist. Sometimes and it does. capitalizes in lower cases. Sometimes it does, Megan. It goes rogue. 
Uh, that would be pretty with the Moroccan paint inlay. I agree, <gasps> Cheryl. Oh, stop it. Basic is so basic. Agreed. You know what? You're right. It would. It would look beautiful just with strips of, along the top. It really would, you guys. Leo oh. will want it. What have you made me do? We might have to do this. <laughs> yes, says her phone's doing. Your phone is brand new, Leah. But it does. <laughs> it auto corrects, and all of a sudden, it's it's making like clusters of words that like no, that's not what I wanted to say. Of course, there's notifications for when we go live. Hold on, we we have a phone number you can text. Hold on. First things first, please subscribe to our channel. Yes, that would be fab. please. We have, we are getting so close to 10,000 viewers. And I know I that's not. I remember I'll wear jeans. It's, yeah, I know it's not a, you know, it's not a huge number, but it's big it to us. It is huge. It's, it's big huge to us. us. How many people live in our town? I know. Less, it's huge. So I'm just saying, like, if you're watching our videos, Please, please, I'm asking you to subscribe. She's begging you. I'm begging you. Help us get to that 10,000. So she can finally impress her grandchildren. <laughs> <laughs> Have I told the story on the Basement Chronicles yes. about Oscar? Oh yes. my gosh, which was adorable. Okay, so you can just text that phone number. That's us. You'll get notifications whenever we're going live, whenever we've posted a new video. And just for random fun stuff. Yeah, but not too much. Not, oh, don't yeah, I don't overdo that. it. Today I did overdo it <laughs> because I did broken links. and I think uh, we only got two today. No, you're right. You're right. Thank you, Shannon. But we would love to get to 10,000. Please, we're asking you to subscribe. We, um, I like to say, we help you by delivering all of this wonderful content, and we would love it if you helped us by subscribing all to our page. All people are subscribed. We're preaching to the choir over here. I know, I know. No, not like Old Navy, Cheryl. What's, What's that? that? The text alerts. No, no, not at all. Not at all. No, I definitely keep them to a minimum. Every now and then, we'll text something goofy from the cottage or, um, you know, just kind of everyday life. Um, but even that, not very often. Kathleen, thank you for saying that. We really just kind of started consistently doing YouTube in the past year. So, right? Like, really consistently. Last year, 2021, my goal was to do an edited video every week. Yeah. I think I made made it to, like, 48 total mm -hmm. and so for 2022 it's like okay I've never gone live on YouTube let's do it let's try it once a week so I really do try to do a live once a week and an edited video once a week if I'm on vacation or you know we've just had so much with the new IOD release and well we also our go stencil live release on Facebook twice yeah. a week yeah so this has been but which we've always done so yeah. we have a great following there and so this is our first year of like really committing to YouTube. YouTube. Mm -hmm. So that's why we're not at ten thousand yet, but I know we'll get there. We will. And yeah, so we have lots of goofy things going on here, Cheryl. <laughs> yeah, for sure. Um, but the other thing to know is like everything we do isn't an hour long live. The edited videos, um, you'll find them over in a playlist. If you look up top, we're just click videos, videos, yeah, playlists, and I have them categorized. So it might be just furniture. It could be um, just how to use Pentart product, Pentart yeah. products. It could be uh, IOD products. Um, but you'll find edited down more instructional, like compressed constructional videos there. Instructional. Instructional. What Maybe you have some constructional videos. Construction. I don't know. <laughs> oh, see? My darn phone oh. messed up my word again. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, gracious. Yeah. I can't believe you haven't got any paint on that 
flowy. I have had I have had this blouse for so long. It's so crazy. You know what? Would paint show up on it if I did get it on here? Yes, it would. Would it? <laughs> Kathleen said she thinks she's watched almost all of our videos. No baloney, you're my fave. Thank you. That's oh, nice. Oh, Kathleen. Thank you so much. We are, again, we're not a professional, you know, we're not professional videographers here. I we're, mean, we, do we the kind best, of are. We do the best that we can do, right? And um, things go wrong and... I mean, we're doing it four days a week. I know. Isn't that but professional? I, you would think that we get it like just <laughs> we nailed get it. down. We have for sure gotten better. I know I'm not holding a camera anymore. That's a great start. <laughs> Isn't that the truth? Yes, though? Patrice, subscribe, please. Oh, gracious. Yes, and you can also hit that notification bell. Um, and you'll be notified. Cheryl said, you know what would be great? More Pentart products. Well, guess what? Your wish is our command. <laughs> oh, wait, there is will she be being more. serious? No, or? you know how Cheryl is. <laughs> Uh, I will be showing something new tomorrow night. Oh my gosh. I know. I almost, I'm starting to feel like, because you know, you guys are friends to us and, and then, and then it's like, oh my gosh, do we dare show like one more new thing? Because yeah, oh. we have to, if we're excited about something, we have to show it. You're right, Megan. It's, it truly is like, I don't use we're stuff that I We're not forcing anyone to add to cart. No, you're right. <laughs> but uh, just so you know, we had to add to cart first before you had the option of adding to cart. <laughs> yeah, so we're all in this together. Yes, we are. It's like, oh, what do I do? What do I do? But um, I'm really keeping my fingers crossed that this new thing for tomorrow is gonna it's gonna work out. You don't want to maybe try it first. We or? are. We're yeah. I'm already. I've already got the elements in place. Okay. And it. I just need one more thing that Jr. and I have to kind of figure out. And, um, yeah. Exactly, Leah. What's that? She said, how do you not add to cart? <laughs> right. Paula said she rarely watches anyone else, but she always watches us. Thank you, Paula. Yes, you've been, I feel like you've been here since the very beginning. Paula. Staff house. Paula, yes. Yeah, she has been. And Patrice. And Patrice, you Lots guys. of fun of you. You're our people. And man. people that were not YouTube people, that were our Facebook people have come over to YouTube, which yeah, I appreciate yeah. very much. Yep. It's like, I, I know what I first like kind of started thinking about the YouTube thing and many years ago, and I, I'm sure a lot of you, um, you know, Debbie has been a great influence for me and I so like loved her style of video recording and editing and all of that. and. And I, I was so, I was like, I would just obsess, I would watch and watch and watch her videos. Like, I couldn't wait for the next one to come up. And um, I would lay in bed at night under the blankets, right? Just watching when, when I finally could like get it on my phone and watching. And JR would lean over and say, like, what are you watching? Because you know, Debbie's like just so out there and goofy. And <laughs> it's like, it's Debbie Beard. I didn't tell him. Someday I'm going to sell her paint. Someday I'm going to go to California and learn from her. <laughs> um, Lauren said, for, okay, Shannon first. Have you tried the new cement product Pentart has? I have not um, because Shannon, again, it's it's kind of like. Um, okay, thank you. Again, I, you know, I want to make sure that I'm using everything and using it and learning it to the best of my ability. So I, I just have not had a chance to use it. So I don't want to promote it. I don't want to even put it on our website until I know how I'm using it. And I can share the techniques with you guys. Okay, Laura says, how do you keep your shop full of DIY projects? Please tell your store looks huge, plus I spread the love. Well, this, what you're looking at right now is in our shop. This is our basement. If that's what you mean, or you are you talking about uh, Ellen Jacobs proper? Upstairs. Upstairs. <laughs> it's a business. It's a jewelry concrete, Shannon says. Oh, yes, yes. I've heard of that. Um, I have not used it myself. But you can bet it will be something that I would love to try. Um, you know, we have to prioritize too. Like I said, I, I don't have time to do 
all of the things. I, I always laugh when somebody will come into the shop and they'll pick out one Monaghan paper or they'll pick out one um, decoupage clean paper or one Roy cycle paper and say, oh, I can't wait to see what you do with this. And then I just look around and I'm like, there are literally thousands of papers here in our shop. <laughs> like, I don't know if I'm ever going to get to that one paper that, that you want to see done up into a project. So Laura, upstairs our shop is actually not just DIY projects. We have examples up there of things we do with the products we sell, but we also sell a lot of vintage, a lot of gift items. Mm -hmm. We have clothing, we have candles, we have furniture that my mom has worked on, or furniture that we bring in. Like right now we have a new leather, not new, but a another second old leather chair. So we have a real mix. But it's beautiful. Things. It's curated. It is definitely Ellen J. Good style. JR and I love to go picking. That is how we kind of started doing all of this. And um, the two of us together, he loves to fix and repair. And I love to, you know, make it pretty. And so we've always, um, since we've been doing furniture, and we've been doing it for probably 20 years. I don't know. Yeah, a long, long time. Um, I've always done this. In my own home, uh, we never had, like, new store-bought furniture other than, like, our bed, like, our mattresses. And remember, remember when we got that wonderful green sofa, mm -hmm. the Our House sofa? Oh, it was literally the most luxurious thing. And it lasted a long time. Yes. Patrice, but, I did make a note to combine your order. I can't remember if it, if yours was in the batch that went out. If it, if it didn't go out today, then it would be going out tomorrow. Um, and Shan, who asked? Someone asked. Oh, Stephanie, where in California is Debbie? Debbie is, um, like, Encinitas is where her retail shop is. And Solana Beach is where her kind of headquarters is. It's where her retail used to be. But now she uses that as her... Um, like shipping central where she does her videos her office that kind of thing okay. Yes, Laura, we need to make a point to show the store Laura, You know, I was going to ask you guys if we did a basement chronicles one week Maybe we would just do um, a, a tour of the shop upstairs and kind of talk about how we got to be here and Because it is kind of a cool story. Well, everyone loves to see the shop. We really don't show it. Yeah, enough uh, Mom does the video editing. She Sometimes my son Jonathan helps her a bit, but that's all Mom, the edited videos. Okay, you guys, guess what? I've got the first coat on here. Um, and again, I still have a good amount of paint in my, my little pint. But I don't want to do a second coat with anything that's left over. I'm going to use this up. Then I'll mix a brand new batch to do the entire piece over for a second coat. Don't you guys make me put an inlay on this. I agree, Deborah. She's She loves tours of the shop, and it's nice to tell the story of the building again. New people oh, would love to hear that. Yeah. I should actually do a video of the story of this building, like an edited video. I feel like we, sh at minimum, we should be doing a shop walkthrough once every other week. I try to Isn't convince that mom that all the time. No, and just... every time I bring it up, every single person says, please show the I shop. Know. And mom you know always. What, though? I'm telling you, Megan, and JR just said it just yesterday again. I, I, I feel like I don't want it to be like super salesy either. But that's, you know, I, but also, I know, what you're, I know we're in business. I, I know that. Say, it's no more salesy than what you're doing right now. I, I understand, <laughs> but I just feel like we're just kind of enjoying our time together. Yes, well, but I think the shop is an enjoyable place, and it's, it is. It's a, people it's are a asking lovely, to see it. Yeah, it's a lovely shop. I'm, I'm, we're very proud of it. And they're watching how we make things to put in the shop. They would like to see the shop. I would bet. Okay. All right. Fine. Fine. We'll see if she actually does it. 
And also just people who can't get here. That's true. I know. We've had many people that have literally, like, I will, sh will show, like, a little clip of the shop or, like, on, on Instagram stories. And I will get, like, these blurry, fuzzy screenshots of, like, is this, yes. is this toolbox still available? Yes. Do you still have this frame or this set of corbels? Or <laughs> Leah, I've had many... Um complaints submitted to HR about this very thing. Anonymous complaints, but it looks a lot like JR's handwriting. What do you mean? About not doing enough walkthroughs, store walkthroughs. Oh. oh. She said maybe we should take it up with HR. You know, yeah. Yes, it does give inspiration for design. So many people. You're, come you're in here right. Soda. You're right. I, I do. I understand. She just that. wanted compliments. No, Megan. <laughs> She was like, if you beg me enough and tell me how great it is, I'll do no, it. No, that's not it. I know our shop is great. I do know that. I, I know it's a very special place. So it's not that at all. I'm not looking for affirmation. <laughs> you know what? <laughs> I ought to take you over my knee. Okay, best wishes with that. <laughs> <laughs> you smart Alec. <laughs> I think an inlay would be pretty, Denise. Someone said Moroccan. I think it was Mary Jo. That would be that pretty, would be really wouldn't great. it? I was thinking Morocco, well, after somebody mentioned it. Yeah, Mary Jo. Mary Jo. Or, um, like, Gregory's could be really cool on this. Mm -hmm. Like, bits of Gregory's. Yeah, that mix of colors is beautiful. Where are you going to put the table? Uh, it'll be for sale, you guys. It'll go, it'll be for sale. A lot of the pieces that we have done on Basement Chronicles have sold within a few days. Uh, Cheryl, you have no idea. What? She said that how busy HR is right now with annual reviews and salary increases. <laughs> Drowning in paperwork. <laughs> Sure. Decoupage paperwork. You know. <laughs> so listen, Debbie challenged me to um, a, uh, a little Bohemian Brights project to go live um i know dion has done it debbie did it and then debbie challenged me to have a loved one spatter uh bohemian brights on overalls cute live so i said um sure i'd love to spatter megan wearing overalls you gotta I, buy me some overalls i think that would be a blast and i would i think and i would wear those Oh, yeah, because guess what? Anthropology, it's an anthropology hack from, like, a couple of years ago. They're, like, you know, $250. Um, Listen, I would do that. Overalls. You would? Yes. Seri I thought you would say, uh, absolutely not. Are you putting me on camera with... No, that sounds fun. Really? Yeah, Mom. You just have to ask me the right thing. Well, we're just going to have to go to the thrift store and get you some. I am not. What I'm not going to do is go to hundreds of thrift stores. Why not just give me a pair at Walmart or something? Okay, we'll do that. Would you Walmarts want, are would, in. Would so you want everywhere. white or would you want a, a light wash or a dark wash? I don't know. Probably a medium wash. Why don't you find 100 them? 100% not wearing white overall. <laughs> well, fun. so speaking of clothing, let's segue into our Friday Live over on Facebook. Um, I am actually going to be stamping on some denim and um, we're going to use the new catwalk and uh, maybe some serpentine. We'll see, but definitely catwalk. So join us on Friday at... What time do we go? 1.30. 1.30. Always 1.30. Eastern Standard Time. We'll be live on Facebook. And if not, you can always catch the replay over there. That's not but... happening, Cheryl. I'm not wearing white overalls. <laughs> okay. <laughs> if you want to pop by and put some white overalls on and let mom splatter you, <laughs> by all means. Oh, yeah. All right. It, I have to go be get fun. my kids. All right. You guys have a wonderful uh, Wednesday, and we'll see you on Friday on Facebook. Bye. Bye.